Oh, we're talking in the official Flat Earth discussion group. Holy full moon! I had a random guy in my apartment last night who worked for NASA, and he says that the Earth is flat and there is a dome. He said that NASA is nothing but smoke and mirrors. Kapow! Yeah, then the conversation got weird. Really, really weird. But very, very interesting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> NASA's just all smoke and mirrors. Yeah, and we live in a dome. <laughs> Makes total sense, doesn't it? And what, you expect people to believe this? Just some random opinion. <laughs> Listening to one random guy that said that you live in a dome. That probably didn't even happen. And the saddest part is, in the official Flat Earth discussion group, I'm sure everyone would have been like, Oh my God, no way. <laughs> Listen, we all get bored. <laughs> but most of us don't do stuff like this. We're all just spreading lies. The world actually is flat. <laughs> no one's actually ever been into space. It's all fake. <laughs> is that more likely or is it more likely that this guy doesn't know what he's talking about? Guys, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day so far. Thank you so much for tuning back in. I feel like some lies today. We're going to check out some more that happened. Just a whole bunch of made up garbage, dude. I can't wait. Hope you're all having a good day so far. Thank you for tuning back into one of my videos. I appreciate you so much. You're all amazing. I only posted one video yesterday. That's so weird. I got home late and I had my incel video edited already and I had another one that was ready to edit and I was like, you know what? I'm going to bed. <laughs> and I was freaking out, but guess what? Everything was totally fine. <laughs> I'm back to it now, so another two videos today and another two videos tomorrow. But yeah, it really helps when I have such a supportive community on here. You guys are all so nice and so supportive. And yeah, thank you for that. Okay, guys, let's jump into some That Happened. What's your most embarrassing moment? Well, easy. In a full bus, I was listening to hardcore metal and I started singing out loud with growls and screams and everything. I got applause from bunches of people, though, for heavy metal growling. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, that's not necessarily a nice thing to listen to. I was on a full bus full of absolute absolute death metal fans. They couldn't get enough of my growls. Everybody started pig squealing with me. Dude, I just don't think that's gonna happen, you know? Cause like, even if somebody was like an amazing singer and they just started like belting out some song, you know, out of nowhere, some person on the bus just starts singing so much. I still don't think that you just get applause from everyone. Like a few people maybe, but dude, this did not happen. Or it happened from like one person and they like to pretend that the entire bus just stood up and started clapping. When in reality, most people probably just didn't do anything. Take to Today, for instance, I pull up to a stoplight and the guy next to me has a freaking mask on. He's in his car alone, so I stared at him. He looked over and saw my eyes burning into his soul. I didn't look away, didn't even move. I just stared straight into his eyes. He looked away uncomfortably a few times, but always looked back at me pathetically. I don't move. A good 40 seconds to a solid minute goes by. Finally, as if by some subliminal connection, something in him clicked and he removed his mask. I give him a big thumbs up. The light changed and I drove away. Oh God. I don't know. That could have have happened, but I doubt it. Like, I can imagine some idiot just sort of death staring someone for having a mask on. Like, dude, calm down. <laughs> and don't just intimidate random people for no reason. Like, come on, dude. You know, it's like the old thing. You're only fooling the fools, you know. You're only impressing other people that are idiots, you know. <laughs> like, any reasonable person that read that would be like, oh, well, that's just rude, isn't it? But yeah, um, very impressive, bro. <laughs> I completed 80 assignments in one night. Can I get some appreciation for my effort? Everyone thinks I'm dumb for doing everything at last minute. Well, 80? What the hell are you doing with 80 assignments? <laughs> oh, you know, I have 70 classes. What are you talking about? 80? Every class just gave us like two years of work all at once. Just picture that, 80. There's barely enough time in a night to do like three, let alone 80. You could have at least tried to make this believable. Waitress, ice cream for the birthday girl, but unfortunately we can't sing and such right now with COVID. Boyfriend, that's okay, I'll take care of it. Girlfriend, oh please no. Waitress, a little bit confused. Boyfriend, Everybody! Happy birthday! Proceeds to get the entire restaurant singing. Girl at the table behind us. Why can't I have a boyfriend like that? What did I do wrong in my life? Hashtag spoiled rotten. <laughs> oh, that's pretty wholesome. I don't mind these sorts of lies. When it's bragging about how good your boyfriend or girlfriend is, that's sort of cute, you know? It's awesome that you and your boyfriend appreciate each other. I hope you actually do have a boyfriend and I hope it actually was your birthday. <laughs> like, this probably never happened. What was the most satisfying display of instant karma you have ever seen? My older sister, my daughter and I stopped at a Denny's for 
breakfast. They had a claw machine there. My daughter, age seven, was so excited. We gave her two quarters to play and just as she went up, two college age jerks cut her off and deliberately rushed up to it. My daughter had seen a stuffed bumblebee in there and had said that she was going to get it. Those two jerks spent $10 trying to get it until they gave up. My daughter just stood there with tears in her eyes the entire time. My sister said not to worry that those disgusting excuses for men were not going to get anything and they didn't. After giving up and sitting back down with smirks on their faces, my seven year old put in her two quarters and got the bumblebee in one try. By that point, the entire restaurant was watching and they roared with laughter. She still has that thing and it now sits on her desk at college. Oh god, this one's a bit more complicated because you're talking about like a thing that happened a long time ago and like maybe you just remembered it wrong. Could this have happened? I don't know. Or is this just some really weird flex to try and brag about your kid being better at a claw machine than other kids? <laughs> I have no idea. I really don't. I don't know if this is true or not. I doubt it. It doesn't sound true. You know, it all just sounds way too like epic and like something out of a movie and that stuff does happen but I'm definitely skeptical. I just freaked an escort so good that she gave me her real name and number. Confidence through the roof today. What, you did this in the morning? <laughs> oh, I just woke up and banged an escort. Okay. Oh, Jesus. And my mummy said I am the next Picasso and hung all of my drawings on the fridge and said I can take a second cookie and told me I was handsome. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, dude, these guys that brag about being good at sex. Ugh. <laughs> You're very weird. <laughs> I was buying groceries and I ran into a girl my age and I spilled my stuff so she helped me pick up my stuff and I apologized but I slipped into my British accent and I was so embarrassed until when I said thank you and goodbye she said you're welcome daddy went completely red and ran away <laughs> oh my god what literally just runs away can you actually imagine that you're welcome daddy <laughs> sprints away see ya all I can imagine is like the Flintstone running sound like bye <laughs> you know I just don't really know why that would ever happen <laughs> I don't know I'm not calling you a liar but I don't know how else to finish this sentence. <laughs> well, I'm not calling you a liar, but... But I can't think of a way to finish that sentence. I've never heard that strangely. And last weekend I was alone in charge of my two kids and their three cousins all under seven years old. Everyone at Target was just impressed that they were all well behaved. They started a slow clap for me as I walked through the frozen food aisle. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> well done. Two kids and three cousins all under seven and they were all well behaved. Okay, I guess. I don't think anybody would ever do that. But anyway, it's still weird to me that American Targets have like food in them. Here in Australia, Targets is literally just homewares. Like you can buy some board games and some clothes and you know, like a pillow. Dude, I really wish they'd pick up their game. My professor was whinging about diesels and why does anyone need a full-size long bed truck? I stood up and said, because we know what real work is. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> I'm a tough man. <laughs> it's like the guys that brag about working so much, but they obviously hate their job. It's like, dude, why are you bragging? This is weird. Like, dude, you told him, didn't you bro? <laughs> It got 56 likes, so that's probably all that this guy wanted, really. <laughs> Not a lib, but just sharing my art. I made this in 2010 for the love of shrooms. Strange that that image was copyrighted back in 2009. What, did you time travel in your UFO or just like lying for attention? That's all this is, lying for attention. Give me likes, give me retweets, give me shares. If you need validation that bad, this is not the way to get it. You too. Queen, you are a really great band. Queen, thanks, you too. <laughs> get it? In middle school school my line for two girls was hey you ladies like rock and of course I ended it with I like the group you too so many threesomes <laughs> oh my god no threesomes more like oh my god this one really lame joke oh god the girls couldn't keep away ridiculous dude this one line <laughs> this person says in middle school you don't have a threesome in middle school that's my favorite one that's so funny not even close to being believable when you get a lift ride pop up on the app the guy in your ex girlfriend jumps in then she apologizes and talks about the good times you had and you can hear the dude huffing and puffing and breathing hard because he's mad very awkward secondly I sit there laughing when they get out because I don't play second fiddle in the orchestra and I don't go back as I drive off they start fighting just like wow dude I barely know what you just said what the hell does the orchestra have to do with this that's exactly right I have no idea I've never heard the phrase second fiddle in the orchestra what's going on <laughs> 
I'm so lost. And I think this guy is too. Just had a friend who waited hours in the line this morning to hope to get the new Xbox. And he was third out of four. They open up and the first guy buys all seven extras, walks out and asks, who wants an Xbox for $100 more? All seven he bought. So if you're in so-and-so and you did this, dude. If it's like a limited thing like that and people are lining up, they're not going to let you buy all seven Xboxes. And why would they only have seven? <laughs> like, I don't know if I read that wrong. I'm still a bit confused. But like, dude, just no. This did not happen. It's a one per customer thing, 100%. I learned at 14 that I would 100% be with a guy just for his cooking. A dude in my class had realized that if he baked cakes and cookies for his friends, that girls would swarm him. It was delightful. That guy got laid many times over for his confections. Frankly, they were so good, I would have waited in line. Learn to cook. It's a sex magnet. <laughs> yeah, I do agree. A guy who can cook is very good. I think every guy should be able to cook, 100%. I think the days of thinking that your wife or your girlfriend should do all the cooking for you, I think that's a long way behind us. You know, I love cooking. All the guys that I know love cooking. It's not going to instantly get you laid. That's so weird. <laughs> but yes, I think it is attractive. Nonsense. I have the world's lowest voice. I can sing any song so low, no one can hear. And those around me think I'm only moving my lips. Oh god, guys, I can't do any more of this. That's enough lies for one day. I don't even think these people know what they're saying. And the thing is, I feel like they're just as confused as we are. I had a whole bunch of fun today. It's so lighthearted, this subreddit. Like, I always really enjoy making videos on it. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. That was great. If you did, guys, make sure you smash like, make sure you subscribe, and yeah, do all that fun stuff. It'll mean the world to me. Okay, guys, let's do the comment of the day. Today's comment of the day goes to King Maple Syrup. When Vincey posts a new video, my two piles of homework can wait. <laughs> Balance with work and play is very important. And you know what? I think you're doing the right thing. Thank you so much for supporting me by watching my videos. It really means so much to me, guys. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter if you want to. Join the Discord server and have a lovely rest of your day. Have a lovely night. And yeah, just don't lie because you might end up on this subreddit. I'll see you guys tomorrow.